Hi, glad you're here. Today, I want to do an abstract. Just a bunch of colors all over the paper. And I'm going to be using a multitude of colors. I got purple and violet out. I'm going to use blue. I'm going to use orange. I'm going to use yellow. You're going to need something to blow air. Or you can use a straw. Okay, I'm not going to do that though. As you can see, it's well used <laughs> today. And the Giletto, you know, pushes. I think it's, if, please say in the comment if that is what this is called. I sure would like to know the exact name, I'm guessing. Um, I'm going to be using uh, my air compressor and it doesn't make any noise. So that's awesome, right? Um, so what we're going to get to, we're also a tile can be very helpful in using alcohol inks because you can test your colors on there, do whatever you like, and they will remain uh, wipeable with some alcohol and you can just wipe it off clean and it's clean again. So, just a tip. Okay, let's get started. Forgot to mention, you got to have isopropyl. 99% that's what I'm using I'm just going to drop some right there where I plan to put some color so take your color and here this is uh, India blue and I'm just going to put a whole bunch right there and take my air blower and just kind of do this just making a area with a pretty color. And the edges are taped, so coming over here, that's not going to make a difference. I scotch tape it, okay? And when I remove scotch tape, you're not going to see. It's just going to be a nice clean border. Uh, I recommend the, um, you know, using uh, scotch tape. It is better than uh, the blue painter's tape, believe it or not. I know. Sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? You'd think the other would work better, but nope. Scotch tape. You won't get a bleed. So all I'm doing is just having fun. Isn't that a pretty color? I think that's a beautiful color. And I'm just making some, trying to make some interesting lines and Going round and round and moving the ink side to side. Try not to let too many dark edges. And keeping it off that border, which it keeps wanting to jump over there. And just do it until you get kind of a pattern. There you go. That's a cool pattern. Now I'm going to come in with another color over here. So I'm going to flood it with some 99%. Uh, okay, don't do the low stuff. Dumb work. Don't work. Well, I mean, it works, but it doesn't work. It's much better. Just get the good stuff. Get the night you can go into the you can get it at your drugstore i believe and they keep it behind the counter up at the pharmacy so um all you have to do is go to them and ask so i'm doing the same thing here with our pink just moving it around and yep it's hitting the blue but that's okay See, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. I love the, by the way, having a lazy season with alcohol inks is awesome. It's good to teach with and also to make a painting with. And I'm going to go ahead and blow some of that Indian blue into that uh, violet color because it's pretty. Just 
let it blend. Didn't put that much on, as you see, but it sure will spread, won't it? And this is what I'm doing. The type of um, what I'm doing with the inks is I've thinned them down already in that bottle that you see me squirting it out with. So, okay, that's different, right? All right, let's just grab another color. I'm going to take a little bit of purple, maybe go to this end. Go that away. Again, just putting down some alcohol. Then I'm going to squirt some purple. Get the little, there we go. All through here. And I'm going to try to keep it more down here. We'll see what, we'll see what happens here. It may touch the pink. There you go. I thought it would. Round and round. Round. Again, I'm just looking for some prettiness. We're going to just keep on doing different colors. And see, that's thinned down alcohol, and it's still vibrant. So, think about that. And also, make sure inks go a little longer. You don't have to buy or go through a bottle as quick. Okay, that's different. That's pretty. Now, let's see. I'm thinking something else now. How about thinking about a warm color and uh, I can't find it. Where's my orange? I want my orange. I think. I think I do. If I can find it. I'm taking your time up. Let me pause it. Well, I've seen some uh, yellow okra. I think I'm going to do that. I do, I do. I'm going to put some right here. That's a pretty color. Yeah, squirt a little bit into the purple. Why not? I think I'm just going to move the ink all the way down. And then move it all the way back. And then move it this way. Coming back up again and around. Oh! That was my air compressor. I had to, uh, it was, I had used enough and it uh, had to fill back up again, so. I'm going to come in now with some uh, lemon green. Right here. Let's see what we can get. I'll try to get it off that border. To see if we can do something with that yellow that kind of made a nasty line there. Bring our green up. And into the purple. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Yeah, darling. 
doing, like you see, is just doing stuff. Then we're going to make some more interesting shapes. Just getting a background on. All right, I know it's not looking like much, is it? What I'm going to do is I got these little secret things, little bottles that make, as you hear, the little um, ball that's in there and you shake it up really good and it's a glitter alcohol ink and what we're going to do is make some if I can open it oh come on lid I don't know why they make the lid so hard to get off but they do Well, goodness gracious. Pausing you again. All right, got the lid off. Just going to come and I'm going to make just a little round dots. What you're going to make? Circles. Shiny circles. Isn't that pretty? I think that's pretty, personally. All right. And some of those hard lines, I'm hitting those. Okay. Now that we got that on there, we're going to let that dry. And come in with another color. I'm choosing... Whoop, dropped one. I'm going to choose this blue. I'm just going to drop in the middle of our circles. Our glitter circles. There we go. I think there was one there. Okay, that's cool. And I think I'll just make some blue ones too. Just random, you know, just go with it. Go with what you feel like doing. In fact, I feel like another glitter color is the one I like. Okay, that's not it. Yeah, let's try this one. And I'm getting the lid off. There, that one was a little better. And you have to shake up these alcohol. This is by Pixis, by the way. Alcohol ink. It's called Unicorn. And this also is a type of glitter. Which came out just a little fast. Sure look good on that pink, don't they? Pretty, pretty. Okay, now I think what I'll do is take some purple and put that in there as well. And sometimes it's fun just to um, let some of it run. And let's see if we can get anything to run. And I usually do that. And as you see, some of the inks are now going to flow a little bit. We're just for interest. Just for interest. 
And if it's not flowing as fast as you want, all you have to do is take a brush and dip it in some alcohol. And where you think it's not dripping enough, add a little bit of alcohol there. And that should help it drip. Like that. I don't want to do too much dripping, but a little bit. And then I kind of do that. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. I think that's turning out really pretty. Different, very different. That's what I want. Different. Who wants a painting like everybody else's, right? You want something unique, fun. So just let your imagination mm -hmm. go to town. All right, let's see how I'm doing. Doing good. Okay, now I'm gonna lay it back down. As you see. And you can see there. Isn't that getting a little more interesting? I think it is. And uh, what do I got in my hand? Purple. Then I wanted to come and add some purple. Try to bring back some around this it's almost better to touch yeah that worked better if I touch it yeah I like that that's pretty and I'm gonna come through with some teal next I'd like a circle and, uh, let's see. And another side here. Just making circles. Shimmer, believe it or not, is still there and it's coming up, which is really cool. Okay, maybe we'll we'll go have, we'll add some more. If the lid will come off. There we go. Give it a good shake. Kind of let some of this dry. And it comes out really quick too. There we go. It's better if I just keep my hand with the bottle pointed down. pretty much playing right now <laughs> having fun with my inks I love alcohol ink it's so fun so many things mm -hmm. you can do Glitter guys. 
<laughs> and cute and interesting. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I think so. <laughs> Could be just me. But that's all that's important, you know, about art is that it makes you happy. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. But if you're having fun, do it. And I thought it was fun. I'm having fun just seeing what I'm making. I have no idea. I mean, it's just uh, going with your gut feeling of where you want to put something. And I saw this green, and I thought maybe I could make it cool by going round and round to blend the color right there. Or side to side, whichever. I'm not trying to make roses. I'm just trying to <laughs> dry some things up that might not be. I love this color that came through right there. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty. some little stragglies around for interest. Okay, there we go. I think it's so pretty. Um, thinking about what I could do next. What, what else could we do? Let me turn it around to my side. Let me get that towel out of there. There we go. And put the lid on this one. Because I'm not going to put any more shiny. I think that's shiny enough. And we've got interesting shapes and everything. I think we might call this a done. A done deal. I kind of want one more dot in the middle, though. Hmm. What to do? Let's do um, that teal blue. Find the places that need a little bit extra, extra. Mm -hmm. The little dots are kind of cool. I think I might just do that. For a little added interest, we're just going to put little dots. Around. Maybe, maybe a little yellow. Let's do some yellow. I'm going to try to do dots. Kind of doodling, by the way. Maybe I'll do that, too. Doodling is a lot of fun. And you do it with a marker. Or brush. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, I like it. I like it even better. Look at that. It's bright. It's brilliant. It's got movement. It looks like it even has texture. I say it's a done deal, guys. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments what you think. 
Is it a little too much? <laughs> a little too crazy? I think it's crazy, but I like it. All right. Well, we'll give you a flyover. Uh, let's see. How many minutes are we doing here? I'll check the minutes and we'll do the flyover next. Okay, let's do that. Isn't that brilliant? Oh my gosh. That is going to be so pretty in a frame. Yay. And remember when I take the tape off, there'll be a white border. Isn't that beautiful? I think so. Look at that. Awesomely cool. Thank you for joining me. By the way, if you'd like art lessons, let me know. And we will set it up. I've had a couple questions about it. So, I do some with my neighbors. Um, I live in an estate. So, I know some of the women here and they, they get into it. So, they come over and I give them art lessons and stuff. And we paint together. Or just paint together. Doesn't even have to be a lesson. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you'd like. I'd love to have you. We, you know, um, YouTube likes subscribers. Um, they're not pushing out the how-to videos. Just the little shorties. But, all right. You have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. And we got uh, New Year's Eve coming around the corner. 2023. Wow, huh? Okay, thank you again. You have a great time. Bye.